Well, hello everybody and welcome back to G-Bears Off-Grid Ways, a homestead in the desert. Today is January 6th, I think. It might be 5 or 6. I'll put it in the title. Right up there, you see the contrail? That's a real contrail. Just a little bit longer than the plane. Disappearing. And look. <coughs> blue sky all the way around. All of the planes that flew over today... Out, out of all of them, none of them laid down chemtrails or contrails other than those little shorty ones right there. So let me zoom in on that. There you go. That's a contrail. Now the ones that, and that's a contrail over there. The ones that go from horizon to horizon. Those are not contrails. Those are not moisture particles from the back of a hot engine high at a high altitude. Beautiful today, day today. No geoengineering overhead at all. Perfectly clear skies. The sun is over there, bright as can be, getting ready to go down. And uh, talk about generating electricity today. Something I haven't seen in a long, long time because the skies are always being filled up with those artificial clouds from the jets. Well, um, my battery banks were at 14.2 today, and there's no wind, no wind blowing. So it wasn't from too much uh, wind power and solar together. It's all from that was all from solar and there's no added solar panels. It's the same solar panels I've already always had. But today, because the sky was so clear and there was no interference of the sun to hit those solar panels, my batteries were up at 14.2. So yeah. A little bit of proof on that. Alright, let's get to the real stuff. What did I do today? Alright, first thing I did was I came out to the um, container and I went up on the roof to do the final walkthrough for looking for pinholes. And uh, it was wet up there. There was a lot of condensation up there on the, uh, on the roof. So I couldn't do anything. I had to wait until the afternoon. And then I went up there and it was dry and I walked through and I, I did a meticulous inch by inch check of the whole roof and I covered everything. All right, so then I have a couple of solar panels on the containers here that uh, power a Harbor Freight battery. And those are old Harbor Freight solar panels. Those are 15 watts each, so there's only 30 watts up there. And those connect through now. They, do, they used to come, you can see the line right there and a the line right there. They, the wires used to just come inside the door and they get clamped in the door all the time. And it was wearing out the insulation on them, so I didn't like that. So I fixed it, and I brought them in through the uh, the container here. I, I drilled a hole. I drilled a hole in the wood. I put my drip wire. I'll show you that when I go outside in a second. But right now, in here, this is still doing 13.1. And this is the little Harbor Free battery, as you can see right in there. And this has been in there for... Well, so almost three years now, and uh, that uh, that little battery uh, just runs these little these little lights that come with Harbor Freight. This is their old style controller. They don't uh, use this one anymore, but this has uh, switches on it. And as you can see, I can light the lights in here. Um, it's a it's a backup system just for some light in here when I don't want to use my main battery bank. This one's got its own battery bank. All right. So I did that. Oops, excuse me for putting your face so close to the container. Everybody wants to know about the how heavy these things are. Well, there you go. The, there's the specs for these. And uh, yeah, these are 40 foot containers, so they're pretty big. Yeah, so I, what I did was I, I drilled a hole I did a drip edge, and I moved the solar panels over. They used to be right up here on top of the blue uh, container. 
I moved them over onto the wood roof and I siliconed them down so they're locked in place so the wind won't blow them off. Then the wires come down and they go inside and I silicone the hole that I drilled so that no water will get in. And then I drilled a hole in the container there and brought them inside to do my connection. All right, the next thing I did was while Pierre was uh, filling up um, propane bottles, the little propane bottles, off of a 20 pounder, um, I was running around doing all my other little things. The girls were out free ranging all day. And uh, what a beautiful day and beautiful sunset today. No chemicals in the air, breathing clean. And I can tell the difference. So anyway, the, remember this door blew off in the wind, last windstorm. So I remounted the hinges and then I added a lock to it. So it's double secured. And this is just a, a little twist lock that I put on there just to hold it shut. But uh, this, this keeps it locked so nobody can get into my filter room, my pump room, as you want to call it, whatever. And this garage door, well, I come up with an idea for that, what I'm going to do with it. I'm going to use that as a wall, and it's pretty good size height, so I can get all of this stuff that's uh, laying around here looking like a junkyard. If I put that wall out here and uh, put a couple of 4x4 four four poles in the ground with concrete to hold it on the corners, then I can block the wall on the other side and it'll just be a walk-in shed. Um, it'll be open, so it, it'll be a walk-in shed. And I'll put a little slope roof on it here. And then I can put a little gutter on there and catch some more water. Uh, so that means i got to buy another tote. Oh, darn. Yeah, so anyway, I'll have another little room here, um, probably 16 feet um, deep by 8 foot, uh, 8 foot across by 16 this way. And uh, that'll give me an, a place to get rid of all this stuff. That table is, uh, the, the tabletop is gone because it stayed out in the rain a few times, but the person that had it asked me if I wanted, I said, yeah because I use all the metal and I'll take a nice piece of exterior three quarter inch plywood when I get some free time and the money doesn't have to go to something important. And then I'll make a new table out of that. And then all of this stuff needs to get all cleaned up and put away and get out of the, uh, the laying in the sun because I got plastic pipe down there. It won't last long in the sun. It's gotta be put away. And all of this is hardwood. This is all maple, and uh, I'm saving that because I want to make a nice cutting board. So that's some of the things I did today. Um, rolled up uh, Pierre's uh, extension cord because it was running across here, laying in the dirt, and you can see the, the track it was making. It was getting buried. All right. So I did go down to the uh, garden house and I watered all my plants, but we won't go down there now because this video is getting a little long and I'll just show that in the next video. And I did get a, uh, a few responses from uh, some of my subs that, uh, yeah, they were, di they were um, unsubscribed somehow, so they resubscribed to my channel. So everybody should check that. There, there's something going on with... The, getting unsubscribed all the time so right now the sun is in a setting stage and i'm still up at uh it looks like 12 7 up there so that's a good thing oh the other thing i did was uh i've had people worried about me with the um uh rectifier from my uh wind power um being fastened directly to the wood so I put it, I took it off there and I fastened it to a heat sink and then I'm going to remount it with a heat sink on it so that um, I can dissipate the heat. But I've always had a 12 volt um, uh, CPU fan or a computer fan under there that used to blow 24 hours a day, keeping uh, cold air flying on that.
but I just checked the weather and they said that uh, Thursday and Saturday we're going to have uh, major wind events out here. So I wanted to make sure I had everything taken care of before that happened. So Pierre was here and he helped me. Um, I changed the, the stripped uh, turnbuckle on that other pole over there and retightened all of the guy wires so that they're all in the right um, tension right now and uh, hold everything nice and steady because those wind events, when they say they're coming, they mean they're coming. All right, everybody, that's all. Um, I'm gonna be smoking a chicken, t chicken tonight. Uh, no, not one of mine. And uh, no, it's not filtered. It's a non-filtered chicken. So it's gonna go here on the barbecue. And uh, hey, look, there's somebody in my room there. So I got the barbecue lit, and uh, it, this is a slow burn snake. So I'm going to be adding a little bit more on the side over there. And I've got the smoker wood on top, and it's just now start, starting to get to the smoker wood. So I have to cut this video off, go inside, get the chicken seasoned, and out here. And we're going to have uh, mashed potatoes with carrots and gravy and... Maybe some peas on the side. Green peas are always good. G-Bear, reminding you, give me a thumbs up down there, please. Don't forget to subscribe. Subscriptions are free. And don't forget to share with your friends. G-Bear, signing off.